Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be completely different than what I usually post. You've seen the thumbnail, you saw the title. Today's video is going to be a tour of my deep freeze. I am obsessed with ice cream. I, I just, I love ice cream so freaking much. So for anybody who doesn't know, I bought my house three years ago now. The very first thing that I bought was a new bed. The second thing I bought was a deep freeze. And then I went out to the bulk grocery store and bought gigantic tubs of ice cream. I love ice cream a lot. I've been wanting to film this video for a while now and I figured with the state that the world's in, we just need some happy, wholesome content and what's happier than ice cream? So without further ado, let me show you all of the ice creams that I have and uh, yeah, that's that's literally all this video is gonna be. Just, just a bunch of ice cream. So I have my freezer key right here because people always lock up their valuables. So I thought that made sense. <sighs> Ta-da! Rolo, a classic. The chocolate and caramel and there's little bits of Rolo in them. Very highly recommended flavor. This one's a little different. It's actually a cheesecake Rolo flavor. This is the side in French. Here it is in English. This... <sighs> I hadn't tried it before and it was really, really interesting. I don't know why Rolo and Cheesecake go together, but they do and it's exactly what it sounds. Sticking with the Nestle classic theme, we have Smarties. For, I think it's Americans, Smarties are rockets and that's confusing to me. It's pretty much just a chocolate and a little bit of vanilla, I think, mixed together with some Smartie pieces in it. That's what it looks like. Oh, this smells so good. I wish you could smell things through a camera because this is amazing. Next is caramel. I know that caramel bars are technically Cadbury, but they're always together in the grocery store, so I'm going to put them together. But this is a chocolate and caramel with caramel bar pieces in it. You can see it right there. This one is a lot more caramel tasting than chocolate, but it's still very, very good. Next is one of my favorites, and it is Chips Ahoy by Mr. Christie. This is kind of like cookie dough to the extreme. It is so freaking good. This one is actually completely new, but it has a mostly vanilla, light chocolate taste and bits of the actual cookie in them. And it just tastes like really good cookie dough ice cream. Plus, like it's so, so good. Highly recommend it if you have this near you. And the last one with the chocolate bar theme is the Reese's. I really like this kind. It's slightly narrower, which I'm not a huge fan. I don't like Breyers ice creams containers as much as other ones, but that's just me. It's obviously Reese's peanut butter cups, but you'll see in there. It's hard to tell, but there's actual chunks of Reese's chocolate, and then there's bits of peanut butter actually in them, like actual peanut butter swirls almost. This is very, very good, highly recommended, and it actually tastes a lot like Reese's. A lot of chocolate bar flavored ice cream doesn't actually taste like the chocolate bar, but this one 100% does. And now let's just get the other Breyers kind out of the way. This is creamsicle flavored. It tastes and smells exactly like creamsicles. So if you like creamsicles and you have this near you, definitely, definitely recommend this. It is so freaking good and a really good fruity ice cream if you're in the mood for something like that. A lot of ice creams I have are more chocolatey based, but when I'm in the mood for fruity ice cream, this is my go-to. Next is one that's actually really fun. It is Blue Night flavored. This is from Chapman's and it's one of their kids lines. They also have one that is fruit punch flavored that I'm out of right now, but is really good. This one is basically a chocolate and vanilla type flavor, but it's blue. I don't have much left of it. I'll be honest, this is a very boring ice cream almost. It's good, it's fine, but there's nothing really special to it aside from the really cool packaging. But the reason why I love this one is because it is completely nut-free. It's also gluten-free, but it's completely peanut-free. And that's something that's really hard to find in ice creams around here. And I have a friend who has a peanut allergy, so I always keep this in my freezer for if she comes over and wants some ice cream. There is a choice for her. I think this is also really good for kids who are picky eaters and prefer the kind of more normal tasting flavors but still want something that looks fun this is another really great choice and my last chapman's brand is the premium chocolate peanut butter cup this one's okay as far as a chocolate peanut butter cup ice cream goes it's very standard it's good but it's nothing special i don't actually like these tubs as much i like the shorter ones this is actually the only tub i have that's this shape but if you look inside this one's also almost empty 
but it's just very standard. If it's on sale and you really like peanut butter cup, I would recommend it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get this one specifically. Next to my Farmer's Brands ice cream, the first one I have is a strawberry and white chocolate, and that's in French again. There it is in English. This is so friggin' good. It's very simple, but very, very tasty. There's nothing really fancy to it. It's basically a strawberry ice cream, and it's a very light tasting strawberry, but there's white chocolate chips in it. And this just goes so great with almost any flavor. If you're the kind of person that mixes flavors, this is an excellent, excellent addition, but it's still very good on its own. I'm pretty sure that Farmers is only a Canadian brand, but if you have one near you and you see this flavor, highly recommend it. It's perfect for when you want something that has flavor, but you don't want something too overpowering. It's just very, very good. Speaking of Canadian flavors, here is Bay of Fundy Mudslide. If you don't know, the Bay of Fundy is basically New Brunswick's pride and joy. This one is kind of a mess in a good way. It's very chocolatey and it also has caramel and peanut butter cups mixed in with it. So it's very good if you're not really sure what you're in the mood for. But it's just three different, very good kinds of chocolate flavors all together. I know caramel isn't really chocolate, but it goes with chocolates. But this one, another one, very good. And it's one of their East Coast Creamery lines. So I'm from New Brunswick. Next is birthday cake. Again, I love this kind. It's very good, very simple, but flavorful, and it mixes really well with a lot of other flavors. I specifically like it mixed in with other chocolatey flavored ice creams. Also, it is gorgeous inside, but it tastes exactly like birthday cake icing. Like, you know that Funfetti sprinkly icing that goes on birthday cakes? That is exactly what this tastes like. It is so good and it's very flavorful. A lot of vanilla based flavors aren't that strong, but this one, as soon as I open it up, I can smell it and it smells so friggin' good. You just have to take my word for it. And another favorite is this one. I love Farmer's Brand ice cream. They have some of my favorite, favorite flavors, but this is ice cream sandwich. And again, it's in French, <laughs> New Brunswick problems. <laughs> This is ice cream sandwich, and it tastes exactly like one of those really classic ice cream sandwiches. It is so perfect. It has chunks of the actual, um, the sandwich part of the ice cream sandwich in it, and they're very, very soft. I find a lot of flavors that have chunks in them are kind of hard, and as somebody with weak teeth, sometimes I have to be a little bit cautious with those, but this one is very soft, very delicious, and again, very flavorful, especially for a vanilla-based flavor. I will show you the inside. Again, I am almost out of this one because it is one of my favorites and it hasn't been on sale in a while. It is so freaking good and I highly recommend it. These next ones are gonna be kind of awkward to film, but I'm gonna do my best. But I have some nice, big, heavy, these ones are 11.4 liters of ice cream. For all you Americans, I have no idea how much that is. I'm sorry. This one, ooh, these are all Chapman's brand. Again, I like Chapman's a lot and I love these giant things of ice cream because it's more ice cream. This one is peanut butter cup. This one, as far as peanut butter cup ice cream goes, is definitely one of my favorites. Aside from the actual Reese's brand, this one is definitely top tier. This one is fairly new, so it's very heavy, but it's just that perfect mix of peanut butter flavored ice cream and chocolate flavored ice cream and actual peanut butter cups in it. It's just very, very good. They really have that balance down right, and I think that this is a very great ice cream. Next is cookie dough, another classic. This one, I like it, but the cookie dough pieces are a little bit too hard for me. And as someone, like I said, with weak teeth, it's something that even though the flavor is great, I don't eat it as much. This one is one of those ones that you get a bowl and then you wait a little bit longer for it so it melts a little bit. And that is, I think, the perfect way to eat this. So there we go. There's also actual chocolate chips in it, which I think is a very nice touch. But again, I do like this one to melt a tiny bit before I eat it. Or sometimes I mix it with some regular vanilla yogurt to soften it up a little bit without taking away from the flavor. That's another pro ice cream tip. Next is a very classic French vanilla. Because sometimes you just need to have a little French vanilla mixed in with something or maybe to lighten up another flavor or for smoothies, milkshakes, whatever. Or sometimes if I have a flavor that's a little bit too strong, I'll put a little bit of French vanilla with it so it doesn't quite dilute it, but it just makes it a little bit less overpowering. It doesn't quite come up in the camera as well because of the way the light's coming on, but it's a very, very nice yellow, yellow, like golden French vanilla, which is my favorite. 
if anybody says all French vanillas are the same, they're wrong. This one is very, very good. Highly recommend it. Next is one of my other current favorites. I am just so obsessed with this flavor and I'm having it all the freaking time. But that is a fudge brownie. This one has such a great, strong, chocolatey taste to it. And it's just so rich. Very, very good. If I'm having a fudge brownie, I want it to be very chocolatey. There's definitely a time and place for a more subdued chocolate taste, but fudge brownie is not that time or that place. But it has lots of chocolate, very rich chocolate and fudge brownie pieces in it. It is so freaking freaking good. If you like chocolate, this one is probably my number one recommendation right now. Next, I have another classic that is mint chip. This was always my like go-to favorite as a kid. Well, now I'm gonna wait a minute before I rant about banana ice cream. But this was my go-to favorite as a kid and this one is just so classic as far as the kind of unique flavors go. Very minty, lots of chocolate bitties in it. And I think this is another one that has the really good mix between the mint and the chocolate. It just really has that balance perfect. The next one I have is strawberry banana. This one is so freaking good. This one's actually new because I finished off my last tub recently-ish and just got it replaced. So see, there's barely any taken out of it. This one has such a strong banana taste to it. And I love that because I'm going to rant about banana ice cream for a second. I'm just going to close the freezer because sometimes I rant for a little bit too long. So, I love banana ice cream. It is one of my favorites, and it's a fairly classic flavor. Like, every single ice cream shack has banana ice cream. I don't know about where you guys live, but banana ice cream is impossible to find in a store. And I'm not exaggerating, it is literally impossible. Every time I go to any grocery store, I always go to the ice cream section, and I always look for banana ice cream, and they don't have it. They have a strawberry banana, which is very good, but it's not banana. They have a peanut butter banana, but no banana banana. And at my local grocery store, they have three, three different kinds of mango ice cream. I'm sorry, no offense to mangoes. Actually, no, lots of offense to mangoes. But mangoes versus bananas? Like, obviously banana, it's a more popular fruit. It's a more popular flavor. It's a fairly common flavor. And yet, there's literally no banana flavored, and there's three different brands that have mango. And it's not that I particularly hate mangoes, but it's because on some packaging, when it's a little bit more faded, the mango flavored looks a little more yellow. So I see it, and I think that it's banana ice cream. And then it's not. It's just friggin' mango again. So, ow, I just hit my elbow. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna cut out, but long story short, I love banana ice cream, and it does not exist anywhere that you can buy it. I've gone to every single grocery store. I've gone to actual ice cream stores. I went to the Northumberland manufacturer once. They don't sell it. They don't sell banana ice cream. Why? <sighs> but if, if you don't have banana ice cream, this strawberry banana is, uh, is very good. The strawberry is very nice, but the banana is still very flavorful. The strawberry doesn't overpower it in any way. Uh, so if you're also upset about not having banana ice cream, this is a good uh, second place, I guess. And the last kind of ice cream that I currently have in my freezer is bubblegum. I don't tend to eat a lot of the candy type flavors. I tend to gravitate towards chocolatey or if I'm not in the mood for chocolate, I go fruity. But this one is just a very good kind to have. Now in this one, the pink is actual bubblegum flavored candy, not pieces of bubblegum. I know some companies have actual pieces of bubblegum in it. I personally don't like that as much because I don't want to be chewing gum while I'm eating ice cream, so I prefer this kind. The one thing I would warn about this kind is it stains your mouth so friggin' bad. This is one that I usually mix with a vanilla or something like that to kind of tone it down a little bit because it is a very strong flavor, but it always dyes your mouth blue no matter what you do. So just be warned, don't eat this right before a really important job interview. That's my main advice. And that is all of today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that it was very different than what I usually post, but I'm in the mood for ice cream all the time, and I figured might as well share that with you guys. Get you another sneak peek into my life and my ice cream obsession. Also, let me know your favorite kinds of ice cream, or if there's any that I have that you like, or any that I don't have that you think I should try. Definitely let me know, because I am always on the lookout for new ice cream. Obviously, I'm missing some of my favorites because I ate them already. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button to let me know, and subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, usually reading or writing related, but sometimes I post other stuff. 
So I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, have a great day. Bye.